What is going on? Welcome back to another awesome video, everybody. Now you guys can clearly tell we are not at the jungle. We are at my buddy Chris's house. He lives on the water. What an awesome house. Let's just say that. But you guys, in today's video, we have something a little bit different. We are not going to be talking reptiles. We're not going to be talking 20 pound rabbits. We are going to be talking fish tanks. So you guys, I know I uh, posted a little poll on my community page the other night asking you guys if you think I should get a fish tank, a little saltwater fish tank. And you guys, I think a lot of you guys said yes. So that's what we're going to be going to do today. We're going to be picking up a 20 gallon innovative little nano tank that we're going to be setting up some coral, some clownfish. I mean, whatever you guys want to see, you guys leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything specific inside of that fish tank. So you guys, really quick before we head out of here to the fish shop, we're going to show you guys my buddy Chris's saltwater tank. And let's just say it is baller. So we're walking into Chris's house right now. You guys, this fish tank is magnificent. Let me just show you. Look at that. Now you guys, he is going to be giving me some coral frags out of here. But we got a very beautiful hammer coral right there. Take a look at those colors popping off the top of that thing. Got a nice little Nassau tang, I believe that's what it's called. Yellow tang, got a little, I think a fire flame angelfish back there. You got some nice clownfish. Now these are the normal clownfish. I think what I'm gonna go with is like those really cool white clownfish. But I mean you guys, just take a look at all the different colors popping through this tank. My tank is going to be like a quarter of the size of this, so not even close to this. It is going to give me an idea on how to take care of a saltwater fish tank, and then maybe down the road we can upgrade to something as beautiful as this. We got this flat little coral right here, so beautiful. Now these are one of my favorites, these little bubble corals. I mean, I just want to like lay my head on that bubble coral. That thing looks super soft. So. One more little look at this whole tank. You got some cool little mushrooms growing. Everything in here is just awesome looking. So many different colors. Look at the size of that clownfish right there. You guys can't really see him, but he is big. Camera is not doing him justice, let's just say that. Then you got this cool little goby in the back. So what that guy does is hopefully he'll do it on camera, but he sifts the sand through his gills. He's gonna like literally take a whole, yep, look, ready? Coming right out of his gills, you guys. That is crazy, but I will see you guys when we arrive at the fish tank store. We are gonna go to my buddy Tommy's over at Tank Nitions, I believe it's called. So he's gonna hook us up. We're gonna be going to get this tank. It was used, so it's not gonna be sparkling clean, but it's gonna get the job done. So I'll see you guys when we are there. See so you guys, we are here. We are in this awesome little fish store. I'm gonna show you guys some of the fish, some of the corals here with my buddy Tommy. Adding. Make sure you guys go and check out his YouTube channel, it's Tank Nitions. He's got some awesome fish, some awesome coral. I see a little mandarin goby down there. He's cool. So you guys, this is actually one of the fish that I was thinking about getting. Inside of the, uh, it's hard to see them through there, but they are like these crazy, crazy wicked colors. I mean, like neon blue, green, orange, red, just like striped and circled throughout this whole little fish. They're super cool looking. And then this fish just went into hiding behind me, but he's super cool. A little too big for the tank that I want, but like I said, you guys, maybe down the road we'll upgrade and get a bigger tank, which is the goal, of course. And then I know a lot of you guys, well, I actually haven't told a lot of you guys, but I am planning on grabbing Paul's clear cichlid pond. And I think we're going to be setting that up in the backyard. So imagine how awesome that's going to be, you guys. Throw some peacock bass in there whatever it is, so that'll be awesome. Make sure you guys hit those notification buttons so you guys can uh, be updated on when I do something like that. I think a pool pond would be very cool for the channel, everybody. Oh, that guy is so cool right there. There's some cool little fish down there. Look at that cute. Dude, fish are so cute. Look at that thing. I'm gonna walk over here. That's a cool looking fish. We got some very cool corals. A lot of cool stuff in here. Ooh. Wow. You guys. Look at that little guy right there. Bright. Ooh. Guys, look at that black clownfish right there. Look at how bright that white is on his body. See, you guys, this is exactly what I was thinking about getting. 
something like that look at that clownfish that thing is smoking whoa dude that thing is awesome look at this just a little look at everything in here you got some little crustaceans in here you got some starfish some snails what else do we got going on over here we got a bunch of these little, dude, those black clownfish are so awesome. You guys probably can't see that well through these fish tanks. Super clean. Dude. That thing. That thing is awesome. Some other little clownfish. One of my favorite saltwater fish for sure are the clownfish. You get a little puffer fish back there. Very cool. Another little goby right there. I wonder if that's like a sand sifting goby. Oh, you got a blue tang. Look at Dory back there. So cool. But I mean, this guy, I just, I can't get over him. So awesome. I'm walking over to his coral setups. Look at all these frags. That little clownfish right there? Well, big clownfish, I should say. <laughs> Some awesome stuff. I love the way the lights make all of this, this coral look. Really quick, what do you guys think of these clear little gobies? I said I could get a few of them in the tank, kind of like a little schooling goby, but they're completely see-through. It's hard for you guys to see. It's so weird looking. And then also I was thinking about these, they look like little plecos, but saltwater versions. And those are so, I don't know if you guys can see, but it focus up. You see all those little suction, there's like little suction cups. Oh, where's my finger at? Right there. So these things just... Look at how gnarly that fish looks. Holy cow. Look at this thing. I promise you guys that that fish is alive. So those things actually end up swimming up the butt of sea cucumbers and living into the sea cucumber. It's very, very gnarly. But he said I could put that in my tank too. But, of course, I don't want to fish. That's just going to sit there and play dead on us. So, we're going to look at some other options. Like I said, I'm not going to be getting fish for the fish tank today. i got to let it cycle, let it settle down, have all the beneficial bacteria grow inside the tank. So, that's what we're going to be working on for the next three weeks. So, you guys, make sure you smash those notification bells so you guys can be updated when we come back here and pick up some awesome, awesome fish. This is the tank that we are scooping up today. Like I said, we got to clean it up a little bit. But we got a nice little coral light so we can grow some corals. I think this is the perfect starter tank, if I had to say. Some extra little pumps back there. We got this one for some flow. You guys, leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see inside of this tank. I know I'm definitely going to do some corals in it. Definitely going to do some of the clownfish like I was saying before. Cool little anemone. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see inside of the tank. We're gonna grab some live rock, some sand, and some salt water today. And then we're gonna let this tank cycle for about four weeks before we get some fish put inside of it. So like I said before you guys, make sure you smash those notification bells so you guys can be updated on when I come back to the store and pick up some awesome fish from my buddy Tommy. He's in the back over there, but we'll be back here picking up some awesome fish, everybody. So if you guys remember me talking about that mandarin goby, that's one right there that finally came out so I can show you guys what they look like. All those crazy colors that pop through. Like circles, stripes. There's a bunch of awesome colors. They swim almost in like slow motion too, so it's it's pretty cool. So we are actually about to walk out of tank missions. Everybody, big thank you to my buddy Tommy. Hooked it up today. We are getting ready to go home and set this awesome little fish tank up. So you guys stick around, you guys will just have to see that yourself. See you when we are home. We have got the fish tank everybody. Now what we are trying to do is, we are trying to figure out a good spot for this fish tank. So you guys, uh, as you guys know I have a lot of animals, a lot of cages, a lot of everything. And I tell you I don't live in a mansion so we're going to be working with some space right now. We don't really know where we're going to put it. I was thinking about putting it right under this TV. I think it'll look great right there. So you guys, we're gonna get that all set up. I'm gonna clean it all out, and then we're gonna set this bad boy up. All right, everybody, so we have finally figured out the spot 
that we are going to be leaving this fish tank at. Well, that is super bright. But anyways, it is right here, set up next to the window. Going to have my little working computer right there. So our next step is to fill this up with some sand, scape our rock, and then we're going to be adding all the salt water. So you guys... All right, so we have finally cleaned up the tank. It's looking nice. These little water spots are pretty unfortunate, but I think once it's filled, you're not gonna be able to notice those. Anyways, our first step is gonna be some of this live sand. Now you see the sand right here. It actually has beneficial bacteria already in it. It's gonna help the whole process of cycling this tank. You don't wanna make a mess. Come up here. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> we're gonna slice that bad boy open and we're gonna come over here. When I go in it, like follow it in, right? So it come from over the top. I don't know if I was supposed to use that whole bag like you guys should know. I'm only a reptile dude and not a fish tank dude. But we're going to see what we can do with this. So spread it like that. Even me out. So we're going to set that up. You hear like bubbling? Yeah, bubbling. Sounds like a pop rocks. Mm -hmm. Yucky. Smells, no? Not terrible though. It smells like the ocean. You're probably smelling the old water behind there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that was step number one. Well, I should say step number two because we had to clean this tank. Now, this is my favorite step coming up actually, is where we're going to escape our little tunnels, our caves, everything for the fish to hide in, where we're going to put coral. Let's do that now. Let me grab those rocks. This is my favorite part actually. I picked out a nice couple of pieces of this rock. Now I had it already pre-set up in the store and how we were going to do this, but now I kind of lost my train of thought for sure. So we're going to come up in here. Wanted to make kind of like a little tunnel, kind of like a little bridge. It's not how I had it in the store, so we're going to have to figure this out. Um, we're going to have to play with it a little bit. This is the, this is the fun thing about these fish tanks. Let's see how this looks. And then we're gonna do, and then we're gonna take this ledge somehow. No, this is not how I had it in the store. All right, so this is baller. I think so. You guys leave it down below in the comments and tell me how you guys think this little rockscape is going to look. We got a little ledge right here. We're going to maybe add like a sea anemone or something, maybe some coral up there. Definitely going to be a main spot for something that I'm going to be growing in this. We got a little, kind of like a little tunnel, little cave kind of thing. Personally, I think that looks great. So we're gonna fill this bad boy up with some water as our final step. Uh. <sighs> Definitely need to start hitting the gym, let's just say that. So we're gonna screw this bad boy off. I think this is the salt water. Definitely salt water. Ew. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be the annoying part, because it looks super clean without water, but once I put this water in there, it's going to get all murky, cloudy, and all that. So, oh my goodness. This is heavy.
Well, I don't see any leaks, so it's a good thing. Gotta grab another one. There goes Izzy. My little helper right there, she is uh, putting in the work. Thank you, Izzy. Now the funny thing is, is one of these has just fresh water in it, so I gotta make sure that they're not the fresh water one. I can't tell. No, that's salt water for sure. We had a little bit of a setback. We were all sitting here taste testing the waters because we got one jug of RO water and then we got obviously salt water. So I could not figure out which one was the fresh water because the fresh water has a tiny bit of salt in it. So we were sitting here taste testing all the waters. Jug number two. Here she is. It is bright right now. Very cloudy, very foggy. But once this is settled down in the morning, this is going to look awesome. You guys, it is officially the next morning. Let's just say this tank is crystal clear and I can't tell you guys how excited I am to finally be able to put some fish in it. I know we gotta wait a little bit, but I am just so blown away by how I set this tank up with the rockscaping and all that good stuff. It was a lot of fun, you guys. So let me flip the camera and show you guys what we are rocking with. Now I gotta clean, I gotta get a little like thing to clean the glass. Uh, I had one, but I guess I couldn't find the other side of it. But on the bright side, you guys, tell me what you think of that rockscape. I was thinking about, you know, putting a nice anemone and obviously, and obviously some corals right here on this little ledge. And I'm gonna be filling all of that with just some awesome, awesome corals. You guys, I think it came out absolutely awesome. Now really quick, I just wanna to explain to you guys what this light is. This is an AI light for reefs. So, let me show you guys right now kind of what that does. Let's go to reef. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Let's give you guys a little live demo, ready? So you see the tank just turned pink, huh? Pretty baller, everybody. Now watch this, ready? Oh, it doesn't want to get darker. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? And if I want to go really white, look at that. Look at that. You guys, so, so awesome. I've got, look, there's my scheduled. That's how I'm supposed to have it on. So I have that on from, let's see, from 8 a.m. all the way to 5 p.m. That is my light schedule for this tank. But you guys, it absolutely looks crazy awesome in there. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said plenty of times throughout this video, make sure you guys smash those notification buttons so you guys can be in tune. Oopsie daisies. So you guys can be in tune for when we go back to the aquarium shop and go and get some fish, some coral, everything to get this tank really started. I promise you guys do not want to miss it. Anyways, everybody, I am heading out of here, so I'll see you on next week's episode. Peace!